On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, how to use messages in ProPresenter 6. Hi and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you use software that we use here in the church and my name is Paul Allen Clifford and I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions which I answer every Friday on the churchtechcast.com Q&A show which you can see again the same place that you're seeing this or here the same place that you're hearing this so either those ways are perfectly fine but first you need to ask your question, so just do that below the video. Now, if you're listening to the audio, which you wouldn't be doing because this is a video show, but the other shows have audio, so we'll just skip that. But comments are always appreciated over at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. So, let's talk a little bit about um, this really cool thing in ProPresenter. Now, in ProPresenter 5, ProPresenter 4, um, and I think ProPresenter 3, maybe even earlier, I didn't start using ProPresenter until 3, but um, there's this feature called Messages. Now, typically you use that to send a message using the stage display. Send a message to the pastor or whoever's on the screen or, or on the uh, podium. Uh, the platform, the stage, whatever you call it. That's one way to use it. Another way to use it is to send a message to the congregation. A lot of times this is, hey, would the owner of the pink Lincoln with the Kentucky license plate B-I-G-R-A-F please uh, come turn your lights off? I just made that up, but that's a possibility. Another possibility is to use it for children's um, numbers. So if your church, when a child is checked in, they get a number, the and that's done with the database or even paper and pencil, the parent can see their number up on the screen instead of the child's name, although you could do the child's name. And then they know, okay, my child needs me, so I'm going to go uh, out to um, help them. So that's another good use of messages. But ProPresenter 6 has taken it to a new level. So let's head over to my computer, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here we are back in ProPresenter 6. Now, previously, we'd talked about messages and, well, actually countdowns, and I touched on messages, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about them today. So, when you bring up messages, which you can do from this icon up here, or you can go to View Messages. That, by the way, is a Control. The little carrot is Control, so Control M also brings up messages. Again, I'm running on a Mac, so that might be a little bit different on a PC. So, here we are in Messages, and he realized, well, it, I see a message, and I see that I can change between these different messages, but that really doesn't help me. What's going to show up? Well, let's click on here and expand this out. Now we've got a few more options. So, uh, the first thing I want you to do is click on any of the messages and you'd see that you may not have anything. If we go down to here, let me delete this out. This may be what you see when you click on messages. So message text, you can just type uh, the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plane and show that message and it shows up. Pretty basic, pretty easy, 
but there are a couple of other things because you'll notice that we've got these tokens over here so if I wanted to have someone show up at a certain room for example and let's say I needed to do this a lot so I could do would name oops notice I'm just dragging and dropping would name please come to room thank you so just like in math these are variables so that means that name can be filled in and room can be filled in and so you can always have this same message here so I can change this to um, name report to room and when I do that then at any time I can go oh someone wants so-and-so to report to this room and I don't have to type the whole thing I can type in uh, John Doe report to now I could call this room one two three and when I show the message it shows up like that or I could change that because these are just it's incidental what these variables are called what these tokens are called so in this case I could call this wildcat room so like if you have rooms that have room numbers no problem if you have rooms that have room names no problem and we'll see that if you look up here when I click show message that changes so that's nice and easy now you'll notice that we have this visible on network checkbox so if I check that checkbox here let me find where that is I have this right okay so here I've set this up by going into preferences and then network and I've click this and it has the network name and the port so you'll notice network name is Paul space left paren 3 right paren and 52 335 and if we look here it is Paul dot local colon 52 335 slash HTML dot messages and so what I can do is I can reload that and notice we've got the name and room so now from this web browser I could type in um, Jane Doe would Jane Doe please come to the board room okay now when I send this this is where it gets cool now I have a message request and to show that message request I just have to click on the notification so that's a pretty cool feature now let's see if I can do this it should be the case that I'm pulling it up on my iPhone right now so let's try and do the exact same thing but from a remote browser so one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot clone 
52, 3, 3, 5, slash, HTML, slash, go. Okay, so you can't see it, but I am now on my iPhone, so you could distribute this um, to just the people that you need to be able to do this, and they can bring that up in their iPhones. This is a web browser, so uh, should be able to do it in an Android phone, a uh, iPad, a you just name it. So you can see I'm not typing anything here, but I'm going to type in the message. Uh, I think that that one is set for a child tag number. So let's do just a random, oops, a random assortment of letters and numbers. Okay, done. And now I click send, and that goes over my network to. Well, the parents of child AKX142 dollar sign, please come to child care. And let's say I'm busy. Now I can click on it. And now it, uh, let me hide that. Okay. Let me send that again. Just going to change it slightly because probably thinks you've sent that once already. Okay, so I drop the dollar sign and there we go. So that shows up. Easy breezy lemon squeezy as my uh, one of our pastors likes to say. And that's a really powerful feature. So I can hide it down here by clicking hide. You've seen me do that. I can uh, click the message up here. I also have some choices here so I could change this so that it always only shows up for 10 seconds so that's something cool as well so that is uh, something that you can do again visible on network or not visible on network the choice is yours if you need more messages you can just click there and grab a new message so that's pretty cool you need to delete one you can just uh, click the backspace delete key having highlighted it so I can really clean this up pretty quickly you know if I only needed this for one event problem solved so that's really some of the power of ProPresenter 6 when it comes to messages and by the way look at all these um, you can see that we have basically a lot of different um, options for the tokens so really the sky's the limit in what you can do so that is some of the cool things you can do in messages in ProPresenter 6 well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you can see some of the great things that you can do and one of the advantages of ProPresenter 6 over the earlier versions. It's really kind of amazing that you can do that, that you can have someone from somewhere else in the church get on and give you the appropriate number and uh, then you don't have to do a thing and the message just pops up. So that is just one of the really cool features of ProPresenter 6. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my email newsletter. So uh, go over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts. And there you can pick up some cool church tech gifts that I've created just for you. And I've created other things as well. 
some of them are free, like these gifts for joining the email newsletter, but I also have some that, you know, the Bible does say the worker is worth his wages. Actually, Jesus said that, and the Apostle Paul quoting him said that. So we know it's important. So I've created some uh, low price resources to help you have more time in your role in your church and help you to be able to impact more people and do it better. And I think that that's a worthy endeavor. So head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store. And there you can pick up some of these things. And uh, I think that they will help you and your ministry go out and change eternity. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.